on this channel we only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. Hopefully he can be available in the next game. All right, guys, welcome back to another segment. You know the word with now. We're always here to give guys updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. I remember your humble boy, Peters. Yes, Enzo Maresca has done his press conference. He said a lot of things. He said so many things. He also gave updates about the current state of our players, especially the ones that are injured and the ones that are available and the ones that are going to face Leicester City. Just like what I told you guys, that the case of Enzo Fernandez and Moses Casaido. Um, stay in doubt if they are, they are going to play the Leicester game this Saturday. But let's see how everything plays out. If they arrive on time today, that means there is this hope for them to play. But even though they arrive, they still have to check meet them to see if they are 100% fit to face Leicester. And also, the coach also made, made reference on Renato Viega, Cesare Casidai, that just in case, just in case these two players are not ready for the game on Saturday. We should be inverting the likes of Viega and also um, playing the like of Cesare Casidai. But I just know it's just normal talk. Anything can still happen. Don't be surprised if you see the team that normally plays play in the UEFA Conference League play against Leicester this Saturday. You understand? And also, the breaking news... Uh, it's, not, it's not breaking news because... Though it came like a shock to me because I was not expecting something like this to happen. Come on now. It's not that you had any bad tackle or you, you had, you, this international break is not have any color from the England national team or any strenuous training. It was towards this game now that I want to play now that training started. Maybe some individual fitness or whatever, clinical, clinical. You understand? I'm talking about his James having an injury. He's the only player that is injured right now, according to Enzo Mareska. He said something that tends to deal with some string or muscle, something, something, that maybe in the next match will be available, you understand? But the other way too, he said something of, he can't tell the time. He can't tell the time, but he said that maybe in the next match, maybe in the next match, his James will be available, that they don't want to risk it. You understand? They don't want to risk the player. But, and again, immediately I saw this information, I just threw back to what uh, Dave said the other day when we were talking about Riz James here. He said that when it comes to Riz James, he's not balanced. He's not 100% okay with Riz James. He said it. And I asked him why. He said that he's scared of Riz James' injury. That he's having this double thought that this guy might go back to this injury again. And come to think of it, Let's talk about this Rich James injury and the precaution this Chelsea, uh, Chelsea, uh, this thing, coaching crew, both Mariska, they tend to, they want, the way they wanted to handle Rich James injury, I don't think they handled it that way. That is the management, the management of his injury because initially, James coming back, we were expecting him to be playing at least one game in a, in a week, even though we have like two, three games in a week, we should be expecting James to be featured in one. You understand? One, as in, it should not be on a full 90 minute scales or like full 60 minutes or 70 minutes. But since Rich James came back, he has been playing to the point he played as a left wing, played as a center back, also plays at, played as, as an inverted right back. You understand? So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just pray that uh, it's not something serious because. The last time I heard about James' injury that they told me that it was something minor. James tend to miss out in our first, first five games in the EPL. Apart from the band, the three-match band he got, the remaining two, he miss out. If I'm not mistaken, no, he grabbed. So, um, with James, I just pray for fast recovery because, boy, I don't want you to be in that position. That is not what I want from you. I know what he can do. I know what he can give to Chelsea. Look at our previous game against Arsenal. The moment James stepped in, you see the, the football change. Martinelli calmed down. Even when they brought in Trozad, Trozad was calm. Kai Havard has to go back as a defender. Everybody, everybody in Arsenal was just calm and relaxed. You understand? 
So I just pray for fast recovery in the area of his James. I know that a lot of Chelsea fans, some Chelsea fans has already given up in that area when it comes to Riz James, you understand, saying that they're no longer comfortable, they're no longer happy the way Riz James go on injury. You understand? I know say the next week they come out from some Chelsea fans now for comment session now. Mr. Peter made they just sell and there's no need again. They should just sell him. They should not sell, they should just sell him. Um, you understand? Then next, the next, he said something about in the future times, hopefully, we, we, we are going to see the likes of Palmer and Jao Felix play together. Hopefully, in the future, we are going to see the likes of Palmer and Jao Felix play together. He said that Felix has been doing very well, both in the country, both in the club, that he has been doing very, very well. Just that he's just trying to find that balance that will make these two players future in one arena. You understand? There is one pitch for the two of them to play in one pitch. That is talking about Palma and Jao Felix. So let's see. <laughs> Mariska can surprise us on, on, on Saturday. Saturday is not after tomorrow. Before you will know, you will see Palma and Jao Felix on the dance floor. You understand? But anyhow, Sha, I'm I'm very happy. I'm very happy that at least he still gets Jao Felix for mind. But just that thing they try to find that space. Trying to carry involve Felix in the game. But you don't need to play the two of them if you never get the balance for now. But at least when you see say this guy, man, don't they tire? I mean Palma. When you say no to do that game, sometimes give Felix that space. You never can tell. You know whether the spirit when they used to play the Premier League or they different from the spirit when they used to play the conference league. I feel say the likes of Felix and Kunku, they, they see the conference league as league with uh, as competition where they're not even supposed to be too they involved. You understand? They want the leader involved in the EPL. You grab. So Mariska, I just try to find the balance for those sets of players. You understand? Then also, um, when it comes to rumors and transfer, definitely Mozilla rumor and transfer. When it comes to rumors and transfer, I heard something of uh, I heard something concerning Enzo Fernandez. I don't know how true or how clarified that information is. Where they say that if Real Madrid are really keen on signing Enzo Fernandez, that the least Chelsea can do to sell Enzo Fernandez is 120 million euros. If Real Madrid is ready to do the business of signing Enzo Fernandez, they say that the least they can do is to sell him for 120 euros. Heroes, you understand? 120 euros, do the conversion man, to pounds. Then you go know how much way they go sell. Enzo. I know say they no go to make much, you understand? But at least they go just make the top up. If you convert them, you pass down 105, will be by the player. Then maybe one or two top up fee day on top of the money where they go use say Enzo Fernandez. But I just know that that one I just made talk. Chelsea is not going to do that business of selling Enzo Fernandez. Even, even the Christopher Nkunku. Rumor, even the rumor that we are hearing about Christopher Nkunku, I would not say don't be surprised. It's not don't be surprised. I don't think Chelsea is ready to do that kind of business of letting Christopher Nkunku leave the club, even in the summer transfer window that will be coming next year. Not this January, I mean the summer. I don't think Chelsea will do that business of letting him leave. Then also, we heard about Juventus peeping, peeping, see monitoring Ben Chiwe. You understand? Juventus, they monitor a lot of Chelsea players. So. Is he uh, Cesare Casida? Is he Benchi? I, I also heard that they are also monitoring Kanichuku. I don't know about Kanichuku Emeka. But I know that Juventus is monitoring Benchiwe, according to speculations. So let's watch and see how everything goes. But as for Benchiwe, as for Benchiwe, I don't think he has really future much in this season game. He's okay. He's sound. I don't know why... Journalists over it there, they fail to ask him questions about Ben Chiwe and to see if he still stands the chance of being featured in any game under Enzo Mareska before the January transfer window open. I don't know why they don't throw such questions to him. But anyhow, I don't know. I don't think <laughs> I don't know. I don't think if he's I don't think if he stands any chance of being featured in any of our game before this year ends and before we enter the January transfer. But if we enter the January transfer, no space for him. I will say, Oga, just pack your load. Any club will come for you. Good club, go. No look back. No look back when you leave Chelsea. But once you go back from you, when you leave, you still give us our maximum because we we'll give you your own maximum when you become the club. You understand? 
So that is one thing I know we happen in the general right, even in the general right transfer, we are hearing about about the shield. Yes, sorry, Juventus. I wanted to talk about about the shield, but the shield too that they monitor the situation. But I know we all don't really like about the shield. We don't really fancy him as a defender. We don't really rate him. But let me spill the truth to you guys. Don't be surprised. Chelsea won't sell about the shield. They will still tell you that he's still part of the project. After all, the coach made it clear today in this press conference that um, we can attack better, we can defend better. That in the league right now, it's only five club that is ahead of Chelsea that has not really conceded much. That according to that, initially he told them that he told the fans that they are going to concede a lot of goals. They are going to concede goals. That there is no hard that you are not going to concede goals. You understand? That's his own philosophy. That's his own belief. That he plays even though he's winning, he knows that he's still going to concede a goal. You understand so anyhow let's just watch and see how everything plays out and he still believes that the defense is, is trying he, be, he believes that Chelsea's defense defense is trying one way or the other so let's just watch from now to this year and that was how we were speculating about Kukurela that we don't need him that Chelsea is selling but one thing for sure is that Kukurela was one player I I stood with whether good or bad I stood with that guy you understand so at least, at least now I'm very happy that what I stood with did not form my hand. You understand? Kukurela is doing very well. So never can tell, but the shield that we are castigating, writing off, can turn things around. You understand? Even the Chaloba, I've, I've, I've not given up on Chaloba in, in respect of the fact that Chelsea treated him that way before the preseason starts. And also they sent him out, they forced him out on loan. I will not say they said they forced him out on loan. I won't conclude on Chaloba yet. You understand? Because anything can still happen. You can, don't be surprised. Mariska can say, okay, guy, you guys should bring this guy back for me, please. And let's see what happens. Except this owner is just one day stubborn on their own side. You grab. So, guys, um, I guess that will be all. Like I said, Rich James injury, don't, don't take it to heart because even though Rich James is not available, we still hit the ground running. After all, we have been hitting the ground running before he came back from injury. Am I not right or I'm wrong? Thank you very much. I remain your humble boy, Peters. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.